Welcome to another quick KISS soft tutorial. I want to talk quickly, it shouldn't take too long, about the uh, the issues sometimes that arise when you're using precision gears, very small teeth, worms. Um, what happens when you go to a 3D graphic and you want to see the tooth form, but you get kind of a blank, just a tool blank there, and how we fix that. So. <clears throat> I've entered some information for a worm and enveloping worm wheel uh, gear set. And I can go up to my graphics and I look at my 2D stuff, I can look at meshing. Here's my mesh. We'll say I'm pretty happy with it at this point. I've got a worm. It's a two-star worm. I've got a worm gear. It's enveloping. Put the information in. And here's my tooth form. Now I'm interested to see how does this look graphically in 3D form. So I turn on my graphics, geometry, and I want to look at my system. And I get this, uh, oops, I get this graphic now that I have my worm right there. My worm wheel is not uh, showing me my teeth. So what do we do when we get this type of a situation. You can type in search over here on the, uh, the help box. I want this to go right there. You can type in search and you can uh, maybe type in graphics or something like that or uh, you can go to the tooth form. Sometimes you can change this permissible deviation um, to 0 0.01 or some other smaller or just a little bit larger number or in this case, uh, normally where I would start is up in module specific settings. I'd go to generation of my 3D and I'd look at my modeling operation tolerance. Right now it's one micron. Sometimes you can go less, sometimes you can go more. I'm going to go to two microns for this model. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to hit Execute. And you'll see the progress of the calculation is taking a little bit longer. It tells me it's doing something. And now I have my tooth form. There it is. So the rendering quality sometimes in our 3D module specific settings right here can um, be changed in order to get the, the gear that you want. Uh, and so in theory now, the modeling operation tolerance were two microns from plus or minus, I think that's the total tolerance. So we're plus or minus one micron from the uh, from nominal, depending on the modeling operation tolerance. And you can play with the rendering quality as well. Uh, there's some other things you can do in here. You can see it's a, a flank shape of worm wheel cutter. This is a ZI. Um, without getting specifics, if I if I go back to my basic data and my details, I do have a, a ZI worm. So this is how you solve uh, three-dimensional graphic modeling scenarios when they come up. You can play with the 3D generation and module-specific settings right here in modeling operation tolerance. And sometimes you can play with this permissible deviation, the 0 0.01. And um, you can see the deviation now on my, uh, my tooth form is 0 0.0087 microns. So I don't know anybody who can measure that, but if they can, that's pretty good. And there you have it. If you have problems with 3D graphics, sometimes the easiest solution is grab... Uh, a change here in the permissible deviations or right here in rendering operation tolerance. If you have any other questions for KISSOFT USA, go ahead and give me a call. Ty Warner, the Engineering Manager for North America, 715-477-0828. Thanks for watching.